I actually try to play for a while now. I'm gonna try to play for at least an hour. I ah, spoke too soon. One more, one more thing to deal with here. Let's see, get rid of that. Okay. Okay, now that's better. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna start a new campaign. I tried to do a uh, sandbox last night, and I just, I don't like doing sandbox. I think there's a lot more interesting things to, to uh, do in the early game and to talk about in the campaign mode. So, got to skip through this, press escape to skip through it. Now, choose culture, I always choose the Tanian culture. I make extensive use of this ability to move through the forests faster. Uh, it just helps you get everywhere faster, get everything done faster, always be ahead, basically, which may not matter, a lot of people try to I uh, just take their time, and that's okay too, but I always like feeling that uh, I've, I've gotten more done per day than, you know, than I would have otherwise. And you can also use it to just escape parties, or catch parties. It's, I think it's the best one. I don't, I don't, I don't really think most of these really do anything. Like, okay. Th this one, it gives you a little more money when you're a mercenary. From your your income, and you get five five percent more renown isn't very much, but that's like like at best that's going to be like two more renown. At worst, it's going to be an indiscernible amount of renown. Um, I mean, this is this is whatever ten percent bonus for I don't know. I don't care about that. Spending more influence. That's, I mean, you could you could live with that. That's not that bad either. But its main benefits, you're you're just gonna get a little more money. And money money's not really that hard to get in this game, and you don't really have any things to use extra money to have an advantage. So, and if you really really needed money, this isn't really gonna cut it. This you know. And then if you're going to use an exploit to exploit uh, the mercenary payment, through, you know, you're you're not going to need this. This doesn't matter. So, in legitimate gameplay, this just isn't very powerful. The, you know, the secondary effect here, that's kind of good. You don't need it, but uh, it's good. This, um... I don't know, because I feel like a lot of times you fail to actually lose relationship from Kingdom Decisions. But maybe when the game is all fixed up, this will be more of a penalty. It's probably still fine, though. This just isn't very good, though. The, the cost of recruiting and upgrading troops... Uh, I mean, you may very well hardly do this. If you don't lose very many troops, you, you may use mostly the same... 200 troops for most of the game, and the rest are just extra. You throw in garrisons into parties, and you don't care. So, you know, that, and if you are, even if you were losing troops and recruiting troops and upgrading its only infantry, which are basically the worst troops in the game, and it's just this amount of money, you know, you can't really, it's, it's not going to turn into anything useful. It's just money. It's just a little bit of money. I mean, you could buy better troops that weren't infantry, maybe. Let's see. This one, this one is almost the same. You can recruit upgrade mounted troops. The 10% it's even less. Now, if you can actually recruit the noble troops, they, they are a little expensive because they come with a horse. But this still, I mean, that, that means you're saving 20 dinars when you recruit, like, a noble son. And 
I don't know, it's, this isn't very good. This isn't a big money saver. This is potentially a, a money loser. It's still not, you know, you could still live with this. If they had a good bonus here, this would be fine. This, um... This is something. It's something, but it's still... I suppose... Let's see. Okay, it may, you get more sheep, which might might help the wool weaveries. Like, if you took all their towns, you own all the Kuzite towns, you made all the wool weaveries, th this could help it be a little more valuable. This might be why they're, why they're more valuable. I'm not... I don't know. That might be too much speculation. But, um... It's still not a good bonus. It's just still basically a big nothing. This one is okay. Because, ah, uh, this gives you a slight speed advantage. I don't like that you pay more money and also make more money. I just, I don't like that in games where the, the malice and the bonus are the same, same nature of, of things. I would rather, you know, they can make more money and then they have some other type of penalty than getting more money. I mean, that's that's basically what this is. You're saving a few K when you first make the caravan. And you, you can... This isn't exactly the same as getting 10% more. It's not quite that good, but but it's a little more money. It's also a little more trade skill if you're doing trade, so it's okay. It's okay if you, if you are, if you're really gonna make caravans as soon as possible. Because if you don't, then it doesn't matter. Because it doesn't matter if they're thirty percent cheaper when you're you're really rich and it's you know later in the game. That that doesn't matter. But it might matter if, if you're role playing and you just want to make caravans as soon as possible. You want to do lots of trading and legit trading. If you're cheating using exploit none of this matters none of this matters because you can just you know there i'm not going to get into it but there's tricks to get your trade really high really fast and then you're done and none of this matters but it's okay it's okay if you're playing legit and you you want to play in the desert you want to do trading it's okay that one's okay and uh, this one th this one this one is passively good i'll 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 say it's a little good Although, I, I still haven't got a good answer on what the secondary ability actually means. Like, does this mean this is count your own army? You form an army, you're leading an army, you also get more influence? Or is it just if you're in an army? Which, that's bad, because you're probably... Like, I, would, I wouldn't ever join another Lord's Army, because... You know, they they play very slowly, they make poor decisions. You're much better being in charge yourself. Um, another thing is this, is this only from battles or is this every, everything that can bring influence, like your passive influence, um, influence from other actions, donating troops, you know, what does it mean exactly? But, you know, this is, this is okay, even though I, I say like money doesn't matter. Ah, uh, it's okay. I mean, I like to kind of get rid of all my thieves and use them to make clan parties, so this isn't good for me. But if you wanted a, a bunch of thieves, you know, pretend you're the, you're the emperor, you have all these thieves, you're really rich, this is fine. There's also an argument to be made, uh, you know, having yourself and your faction be an empire uh, culture, you get to choose your culture, might, might make it a little easier... To, to recruit Empire Lords. Just a little. And I that's I when people tell me that, I take their word for it. I don't have any reason to think it's not true, but it does I can't tell the difference. Like when I try to recruit clans, it's just either easy or impossible. Either they will just join you because they don't have a fee, and you do, and you're big and powerful, you can give them two hundred K. Or they don't want to join you, and nothing matters. And it doesn't matter if they're imperial or not. You know, it's hard for me to personally see the difference, but there is a difference.
Build turrets increase 20% less. Well, you know, eventually they're going to get capped out anyway, so that that's not a big deal. It's something, though. Like, that's, that's a fair malice, but it's, you know. Let's see. Did I shit on all of these? I'll go back to the one I like. This is, you know, this is something. It, it usually is going to mean a few days to get your first upgrades. A few more days, that's nothing. For your long-term upgrades, the level 2 and level 3 ones, they take a lot longer, but but you don't need them urgently. So this, this is not a bad malice at all. I don't care about getting one more militia. I really don't. Oh, but this is this is really good. I'll use this a lot. Let's see. Oh. Now, I usually get a character to paste in here, but I didn't do it this time. Yeah, it's not... I don't have it. Oh, well, we'll just... We'll make a character. Let's see. No, you know what? I'm just going to go back and do this... This will be much quicker. We'll go... can just continue any campaign since I've been pasting the same character in a lot of games. It shouldn't matter. But we'll see what we get. I don't remember which one I actually loaded last time. Hmm. Okay. Okay, this one's fine. We here, press B on the map. You can kind of see how to do this. Um... My character will look slightly different because I'm starting in a campaign and not a sandbox. So they're, they change when they turn about uh, age 21. So we'll go to Control C. Then we have to save and exit because this was an Iron Man game. Which. You know, I always want to try to do an Iron Man, just when I'm doing like a short, something like this, which is just a short game. But I always regret it because it's just, it's a like a anti-bullshit button. Whenever something stupid happens in the game that doesn't seem right, you can just reload your game and probably it won't happen that way again. And you know, maybe when the game is all finished, and everything's balanced, you know, it'd be fun to play an Iron Man. But for now, it's just... It, it just makes it a lot funner to be able to just load your game when you want to. So, let's see, Control v to... There we go. Change the voice. Deep voice. Be a fatso? No. Well, no, we're, we're not do that this time. Okay. This is fine. I don't need to be picky. So, I'm pretending on what I, my, my thing here is I don't want to waste any attributes. I don't want to waste any FP. There's only a few ways for me to do that. And first I want to do, I want to do this one. There's, there's usually a couple one. Okay, no I don't. This is the other one that would be okay. But, I think I want to start with this. It's basically, I want 3 Control, 3 Endurance, and I want to get up to 7 Cunning and 7 Social. I don't want any points to go anywhere else. And I don't want any focus points to go into stuff that I'm, I'm not going to use on this character. Even if it means this, the actual start, the character is a little rougher. I can deal with that so used to always take this one but now I don't now I uh, get away with people because this will give me endurance and there's a better choice that will also give me endurance that I want to take so I don't want more than three endurance but I do want more social so here we go hundred small gain If you want a lot of endurance, there's a lot of good endurance choices, but I don't. And this one, 
See, this would be good, except I don't want trade. I'm not going to do any trading. Well, I guess that's why I might try to get, like, the first perk, just because I can. But I don't need a focus point to get it. So, we'll take this one. Road with the scouts. So just look at these, the, you know, I like cunning, but I don't want throwing. Roguery is kind of like an auxiliary skill. Uh, I only want it if I'm actually going to do a lot of prison breaks, which I may or may not. So it's not something I, I care about starting the game. Again, we have a good endurance choice here, but I want this one. Get riding in a bow. Look at that goofy grin. Okay, whatever. Let's see, I don't want Stuart. I don't want Stuart on this character. Let's see, I think this is the one I want. Yeah, I want to get cunning up nice and high so we can get scouting up high. All mostly just for, for one perk that I want. But there's lots of other good perks too. Okay. Leadership charm. Yeah, I want this one. This is just really good. This is all things that I want. I mean, I don't really care about getting high tactics right away. But, um, it certainly has some good perks, and it's, it basically levels on its own as you defeat enemies. There's other tricks to getting more, but I don't. I just use combat for it. You start with charm, and that's good, because I will, I will be getting married early, most likely. And that will boost up your, your uh, charm. But you have to have the room to learn it. So having a couple FP at the start of the game will let me do that. And this this will be much later. So I don't want to be a vassal. So I have to wait till I'm a ruler to actually build up a lot of leadership. But eventually this will come into play. I would love to have more bow and writing at the start. But I just can't get those on here without uh, taking more attributes that I don't want. So, this is the best I can do. Oh, look at his... He always looks a little different, no matter, even though I use the same character all the time. Brother's always just a little different. Griff. Uh, I don't know. Like, I usually name my, uh... Clan, the Band of the Hawks, so it's... Let's see where maybe we'll keep that. But I always name the character Kegels. We do that, that's fine. Okay. And do that over to Banner Lord. Something is wrong with this difficulty. I don't... I feel like... Like, maybe they're actually all the same. Because... I feel like... I just... I don't think the AI could get any worse at actual combat. Like, I don't... I don't believe it. So... Yeah, we're not going to do Iron Man, because... Oh... Uh, if I want to reload the game... I want to reload the game. I don't want to... I don't want to feel like, oh, okay, now we have to do this because the game game says so or you know oh no no quests anywhere I I guess we'll just take a break I don't know well, again even little petty things you, you can reload the game to kind of get a better result it's really good reloading the game is good saving the game is good too coffee drink loading scene is good
so okay this time I'll do the tutorial we'll see if we can find any bugs get stuck that's how we move I'm not gonna actually do anything in here though we're just gonna leave leave they want us to go to the village but got other stuff to do let's see now so these are my perks. I usually take loose formation because typically I'm going to lead horse archers. When I have them stationary, I just put them in loose. Uh, you can use them in column and lead them around. But of the two of shield wall or lo loose formation, I, I think I want loose formations. This... I actually, I want combat tips because this will just... It, it it will let me get more fiends if I want to now. That may not happen right away, but someday, someday it probably will if I kept playing this character. So this is the better of the two. Also, you know, you, you can't be a governor, so that half of the perk is just dead. Yeah, I got one here. I gotta drop this into medicine. Because I want to get it to get preventative medicine soon. So I can get knocked out all the time. Get healed all the time. Not have to worry about it. Okay. Now I'm going to save a game. So now they got uh, serious work out of us here. Look at a brother. And he has, he's like two characters combined. We've got a lot of work now to actually go through and pick out all of his perks. I love and hate this. It's really boring. I've done it a hundred times. But it's also, it's interesting because this is pretty much the only time in the game that you'll get to do this. You'll get to actually have a character with a bunch of perks and stats and you'll actually get to spec them out. Uh, unless you, you know, you use a mod or something, you're a cheater, then, the, you know, this is the only time you're going to see something like this. And I think what happened, I think originally he was just specced out like this for these skills, kind of the way the uh, NPCs are. They just have whatever skills and then whatever stats. And then at some point they changed it. And I think they wanted you to be able to spec them out. But uh, they didn't bother to undo all of this. So he has all of these skills. You know, he's pretty pretty competent for, you know, for just some guy. You know, he wasn't, wasn't a, a famous lord. We don't know. We don't know what he's been doing. But he's about as strong as two lords combined because he starts with all this skill and then we can spec him out to whatever we want. I want him to be be a steward. Just do that. Even though he has high steward, I want to max that out too. And let's see. Want five endurance. Wait, is that right? Do I want five endurance? I want at least three endurance, but actually five is pretty good. Oh no, I wanna Well undo that. Okay. I want that to go to three. Let's go to three. Hmm. It's like we're gonna have one. One more left over that doesn't really help me out. So, let's see. So he needs three control to get this perk, which will let him uh, give four searchers City captains, 30 bow skill. Now, I don't know exactly how it works, but to me it seems like it helps them shoot a little further. I don't know if it, it if it 
actually changes like when they will recognize an enemy and fire on it or if it just slightly increases the accuracy and damage i don't know but it, it's certainly good it's certainly noticeable to have it versus not having it like if you change the captain it's noticeable but i don't know i'm not qualified to actually say exactly what 30 more skill does but combined with stuff like this you know that that's a lot of extra skill um same thing here on writing i want to get to get him to ah uh, here the, actually for him i want cavalry tactics because this will mean i can just set a bunch of cons guards or whatever in whatever garrison i have with him and we pay half price even though you know i say money doesn't matter you, you know it's half half the money for your most expensive troops when you're just when you're not doing anything you're trying to make pregnancies or clear hideouts you know you're not you're not using them that that is a lot and there are times when it can it's good this would you know this would be also good except because i'm going to get this on my own character i can just keep prisoners in my party and not have to worry about putting them in a fief so Let's see. What I like to do, I like to actually exit out and save. And sweat's good. Not on Iron Man. Uh, in between these, because it's it takes me a long time to actually spec them out, so I don't make a mistake. Let's see, I have 10 more focus points. He's, he's got it. basically everything I want. I want this, I want this, I want this. I'm actually going to just... This is kind of dumb. But I'm going to just do that just in case, because he has 10 intelligence. If I ever wanted to use him as either one of these, he could do it. And if he leads his own party, my character dies, which I don't think can actually happen in the base game in a reasonable way. Uh, anyways, if he ever was a clan leader, this would be good. This would go with the 10 intelligence. I have one more of these. Um, it's tough. Let's see. Is there? So I'm thinking is eventually I, he will get another tribute. I'll be able to pump one of these up to five. I can look at these. Which one is? But this one is better. Both of these are good actually. One. Okay. So yeah, we'll go for that. Now we've got to pick some perks. Let's start with the ones that are more interesting for some writing. This one actually matters because he will give these perks to my troops. So want the writing skill. That, that will help horse archers a lot, especially the lower tier ones. Because uh, below a th certain threshold, they actually perform much worse. And if they have a little, a little more skill, they actually will begin performing more competently at a lower tier. And, you know, we want more HP for mounts. I mean, let's see, our alternative is this. I don't care about that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we want this. In case he leads his own party, that, that'll help. Now, for me, I'm going to take Sweeping Wind because I want max speed for my main party. But for him, he can have this for when he captains horse archers. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, I used to put this on him too so that, oh, he's going to lead a party and it's going to help him a lot. But it's they, they, they can't make use of it the way the player can to have a little more speed. Like, I can really get a lot of work out of being faster than other parties, but the him, he'll just, yeah, it won't matter. This is better. Now, I'm not going to, now, you know, I'm assuming that the troops counts any dismounted units, but I don't actually know that that's true in the code. That's one of those things I always want to look up, but then I forget. 
just doesn't matter that much because I think I think honestly I would either way I would rather them have a slightly better chance of surviving than move a little faster. I mean, I'm, they're probably mostly ranged units. They're just going to stand there and shoot stuff anyways. Uh, let's see. Weapon handling. Yeah, I, th I think I want this one. I don't do smithing. This one, this one, like it doesn't, I don't think, I don't think he can do persuasion, but maybe he does. Maybe there's something, some part of the interaction as an emissary, maybe where that uses that. I'm not sure. But if he ever leads a party, he'll have five more guys. That's good. That's fine. Dead aim, that's good. It gives 20 archery skill. Um, so I'm doing Vodkin. The reason is Ranger Swiftness doesn't, it doesn't really do anything for when you're mounted. This is for when you're walking around. I think. This way, like I've tried it. And it doesn't, I can't notice the difference. This isn't great. This, like, ignoring 10% of armor isn't a great effect. Neither is 5%, but it's something. And, likewise, I'm going to do rep fire because this here, um, the rotating, as far as I can tell, this is when you're dismounted and you turn around. It affects your accuracy a lot, but it, uh, turning on the horse, I don't think that happens. I don't think that happens the same way. So, yeah, we'll take this, even though this, it doesn't, you're not 25% faster. I think the reloading speed is just, like, literally taking the arrow out of the quiver and putting it to the bow. I'm not 100% sure, but it's not, it's not as good as it looks. But it's something. Okay. And we'll, we'll do this, because, um, both of these effects are good, and you know, getting... Reducing the accuracy penalty for himself. This will help him continue to get experience throughout the game. And more security when he's governor, which almost always happens. There's almost always some point in the game where he is a governor for a significant amount of time. Even though he's also the best captain, the best steward. You know, it'll happen. Otherwise, this one, this one would be good, like having four four more guys. But I got I got to do that one. I don't. Let's see. Sometimes I do put a crossbow on him earlier in the game, but I don't know. I think we'll do this one. Okay, so this one actually affects troops. So he may have these under him at some point. So we'll do that one. Okay, that's a 30 skill one. That, that's good. That's what I want. If he has crossbowmen under his, his control, like we throw them all in the same group and put him as captain, there you get 30 skill, even if he doesn't ever touch a crossbow. So, that's pretty good. These ones... I don't know, I feel like... It's a bit fringe for me. Probably not going to have many units under him that have throwing weapons. Breaking his shield, I think, would be... Better than... Better than this, though. I don't know. Infantry. I don't know. Well. Okay. We'll take it. Because I don't. I don't really care about them killing mounts. And the reason is because. Ah. Uh, cavalry. Is, is actually pretty bad at hitting uh, ground units. 
But if they lose their horse, then they fight just like infantry. So they're, it's actually not killing the horse as fast and having more chances to kill the rider is a lot better for uh, for AI units. Because, you know, that, that's my observation. They get much more competent at fighting if they lose their horse. We'll do this. We may We may have some mounted cavalry at some point. So likewise, we'll lose formations on him. I want to do proper engagement because I will. I will try to fight enemies on the plains and the steppe because I those maps are good. Um, trees give me a headache. So okay, so. Oh yeah, this is good. That's good for him. If he goes out on his own, I don't know. I don't know if he can actually make an army, but yeah, I don't think he can. But it's still a plus ten party size. As I don't need that. I don't need more troops during hideouts. I don't care. Um, do coaching. We're probably not going to simulate a lot of battles, but. Oh wait, this is for him, so he, he will. All of his will be auto-calc, actually. That's fine. This is the kind that my brain starts to shut off, because... I think these are both kind of good. They both decrease. So I'm not going to do raids. He might be doing raids if he leads a party, though. So, hmm. I think I want this one just because if we get attacked and we win the battle, if we don't want to fight another party, like if we're getting dogpiled, we don't have as much disorganized state, we'll be able to get away. Oh. It's probably too much thinking for that, though. Okay, charm. Uh, viral. It's not how you say that, I'm sure, but... Viral pregnancy chance. This will hopefully slightly reduce the amount of waiting and reloading that we have to do for him and his wife to get pregnant. So... So this is personal. But, I don't know, it just seems like a weird way to way to put it for personal, because if he's in my party, I don't think he generates influence in battle. I do. Well, maybe he does. Maybe, I guess I don't know. I guess I have to admit, I just, I don't know. Maybe he does get influence. Maybe if he, maybe from kills in battle, I don't know. Let's see, these are both personal. Okay, so this one is governor. So I want to give that one to him, and then I will take the other one. I think we have to do this one just because there's more male NPCs. That one. So I don't know how he is going to recruit prisoners, but. I would. I think this is a lot more useful, even though this might actually happen a lot more. He might have a lot more low tier things, but actually, you know what? It could. It could be that I don't really want him to recruit prisoners because they might do this stupid thing where 
they keep recruiting prisoners and anything else and will throw out other troops that you wanted them to use. So this might be better. Okay, we definitely want heroic leader. Just being able to get more one more loyalty when we do set him as governor, it's pretty good. Even though this one I mean that one's fine too, but we'll take that one. That one's good, but um Well hmm. See I want this one because on my character, I want to con convert prisoners faster. I don't know if I care. Yeah, I don't care about that for him. So if he's just recruiting normal troops, though, and starting with the XP bonus. Yeah, it's better for him. Okay. This is another one I want that on my character. Even though I won't probably have a lot of towns. Because I'll use them to make clans. Got this one. I'm... That one's pretty good. I can't remember if it will work if he's in my party and we wait in a town or not, though, but we'll still take it. Okay. So, we want this. We'll sell a lot of equipment. Well, we'll rather carry stuff. We're going to carry a lot of junk around and sell it to the shop. We're not going to do any other kinds of things. Let's see, we might have workshops, we're probably not going to have caravans. So, I don't know, I feel like there's more merchants and artisans, so I'll go with this. And this too. Let's kind of work together. Okay, that is interesting. I want. I wonder if uh, he, him being the quartermaster, will actually increase my recruitment slot for merchants. Or well, it says it's active, so I guess. Well. That, that's weird, too, because it says it's active, but he's actually not my quartermaster right now. I guess that doesn't mean anything. I guess it, it, says, it, it says it's active, and that's, that's all it means. But yeah, it could be that he needs to be leading a party to get that. Or, I don't know, I guess I could find out later if I remember, if I remember to switch him off and on as a quartermaster and see how many recruitment slots I have. Okay, I'm gonna take a break and save. Because that's a lot of a lot of thunking. Okay. One more fun one. What frugal I'm worried of anything that makes you eat less food, because I've heard, I've heard from the big brains that eating less food may make you gain less steward skill. So, also, that's not a super useful effect anyways. Rather, just, just buy food when you can. If you can't, don't worry about it. Let's see... Yeah, I want to try to stack most of the minus garrison wage effects on him. Yeah, I don't care about castle wages. I'm not going to own a castle for more than a few seconds. But this one, this one is good because it's a, a buff for building siege engines. On your quartermaster, so even if you're not using an engineer, no, oh, it's helpful. This is an, an actual difficult choice because it is possible that he will be in an army with me for a long amount of time, 
and having the uh, the wage reduced. You know, that is something. But I think this the utility of using this perk to just uh, level up troops is greater. I'd rather have an option to do something different than um, just a little more money. It's too bad that first effect is party leader, though, because it's basically an effect that only the player can use, since only the player can ever recruit um, a companion. And that you know, they some of them are expensive and early in the game. Th that would be useful to have, but oh well. And likewise, this for discarding weapons. This is somebody should have this. Both of these. Um. I think the tax income higher would probably be better than the tariffs, but I don't know. I don't. I guess I don't really care about either of those that much. I like this one though. Um, used to do a weird thing to you know knock out all of the troops by starving them, so they could gain medicine off of them. And this was, it was just kind of funny because you have all these elite troops constantly being starved and healed and you're, you're not paying for them because they're wounded but uh i wouldn't do that now though because it wastes a lot of time i can see i'm sure a lot of people like this because they want to donate troops and get influence but um no i well actually Hmm. Eh, I still think I want this one. Alright, now the, the fun stuff. All the dumb melee perks. It doesn't matter, because like, everything dies in three hits anyways. But he's not going to shield bash anyone, so that doesn't matter. This one's good. Get more security when he's the governor. Well, we'll do this one. That one might affect some troops. Let's see. Would rather have that on him. I don't know who's going to have the shield, who's going to be under his control, but we'll take this just so that you know, they don't have to actually be in the shield wall formation. Okay, that's a wage reduction. This is another one I think I want to just take both the shield ones, even though he won't have that effect if he has troops that do good I'll take that one I don't even know if this one works properly. I guess it must by now, but I don't think it matters if they get five more experience. I don't think that he, even if I gave him a good two-handed weapon, I don't think he would kill very many. I think we want that one. And yeah, we want the shield one again. We we'll want the wage one. Just, be, just to stack them all up. Like, I don't usually build all of that stuff anyways. So. Alright. Now this one matters because I probably will give him a glaive at some point. Do cavalry. Let's see.
Now this is a tough choice. Because this will give the militia... You know, I... I think... Well, this is only for infantry, infantry troops. Not for any other troops that might have a pole arm like a Consguard. That's a tough choice, but... Or do that. I don't need the militia buff. We'll take this. I see. I want this effect for him. It would be okay. The thing is, the thrust damage is the stupid, and swing damage is really good. But giving the thirty plus skill to troops. I think it's going to be better. Again, I think I would rather they just have a little more HP than moving faster. Yeah, this stuff, it just starts to melt my brain, trying to consider all these different little melee effects, because, you know, everything dies so fast in this game, I don't know. I mean, maybe this would be good. For maybe cons guards. Let's, oh no, it's only infantry troops, so that may, yeah, we'll take this one. That way... Yeah, okay, because this one will work with cons guards. They have more speed bonus damage. And they swing their glaives. Like this would be, would have been good if it worked for mounted troops because that would like definitely kill most horses if they hit hit them with plus seventy percent damage. But that's not how it works. So we have to take that one. That one's good too. And oh, this is a tough one because. Oh wait, no, I, I misread that. That's not a tough one. This one is much better. He's getting one security a day. Ah, oh, it's useful for him as governor. This effect. You know, that we he doesn't need to do more damage. And I for some reason I thought I thought I was seeing 20% and security, but it's not. It's they get experience in the garrison, which that may actually be bad. It can be times when troops leveling up in the garrison is not wanted. Okay, so it looks like I'm done. I'm done, finally. Finally done picking all the perks and filling in the skills for our brother. We can finally begin to play the game. We'll save, just in case. We don't want to do that again, even though I've done it at least 50 times. Now... Oh, uh, I think I'm gonna, let's see, I don't know if it's better to end a stream to just, or to just go for a break for a minute. I don't think anybody's watching it, actually. Let me, let me just look and see, let's see, nobody, yeah, nobody has watched the stream at all. So I think I can just actually take a break and probably come back soon. I actually want to watch this and make sure that oh, everything is working the way I think it is. Well, if, if you end up watching this, I hope you learned some things about how I spent a lot of time in the, the menu leveling up the brother, picking the skills. Uh, well, we'll see you again soon.